Um, there was one thing I wanted to... That's not it. This is it. There we go. There was one thing I wanted to talk about. Wait, let me just quickly check if there's any Nazguls in stock. There is not. Um, so they announced this new, like, the new secret layers have been revealed. Um, the summer super drop. So these are going to close in two months. And some of them are really cool, especially like this death is temporary, metal is forever, super drop. Um, some of the cards are really good. Some, the art is amazing. Uh, it's it's going to be a really cool set of cards. I think that a lot of people are going to be really excited about it. One second, let me... Um... Yeah, and I was just like kind of looking through this goblin secret layer is also kind of cool. The art is really cool. I don't really play goblins, but I know a lot of people do as like a um, a favorite creature type kind of thing. But the art's really cool. I like this set. But it's all sort of centered around Lord of the Rings because that's the new set that's out and what everyone's excited about. And for some reason, so we knew that they were going to do this like Saturday morning cartoon reference. There's this old animated Lord of the Rings um, series that I believe it's a movie. I might be wrong. It might be a TV show, um, but I believe it's a movie. And it's like got this Saturday morning cartoon vibe to it. It's a product of its time, but a lot of people hold it very dear to them. So obviously they were going to do some sort of art alternative for some Lord of the Rings cards. Um, but the cards they chose are shit. They're bad. Um, and it just kind of has baffled me so much that I don't know what to do with myself. Like internal strife has completely taken over because they had an opportunity to do something really cool, but obviously had very little to no player feedback in which cards they chose. Um, granted, I will give them some grace because, you know, in order to get the art made up for these and everything signed off they had to probably decide which four cards they were going to include a while back so you're in a position where you're picking cards without actually having experience or user information from the set being out and i think that that's kind of disastrous especially in this case because We've got uh, Slip on the Ring, which is a white instant. We've got Gandalf, Friend of the Shire, which is a blue legendary creature. Mirror of Gladriel, which is an artifact. And Shire Terrace, which is a land. Not a legendary land, just a normal land. Um, and the tough part is, is that... Um, I posted on Twitter about it, and I just said, I don't get it. Like, who picks these cards? Gandalf is okay, and Slip on the Ring is a fine card. Um, but if I were to buy these at my store locally, it's like less than a dollar fifties worth of cards. And they're charging $30 for the Lord of the Rings Saturday morning cartoon art version. And that's not, that's just the normal version. The foil version is more. The foil version is $40, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, it feels so dumb. And I have like some marginal respect for Wizards of the Coast remaining, regardless of, you know, how many times they've kind of made us all scratch our heads recently. But, um, I still love the product that they're making and the game but I feel like a lot of my love for the game right now is centered on the people I get to interact with and the ex 
experiences I forge myself and not really how we as consumers are treated by Wizards of the Coast. And, and it's kind of an extreme stance to take based on just a secret layer. Nobody has to buy these. Like, they're made to order. So the less people buy this, the less are going to be made. But it just kind of exemplifies the relationship right now between players who would literally eat up anything if it was done well and done properly and wizards of the coast who is fighting tooth and nail to like earn as many extra dollars as they can um if you're interested in the summer super drop this one's actually really cool too i'll, I'll go back and, and look at some of these but this one's got some like hot rods and motorcycles and stuff even the cards are really good i play gaia reach sanitarium it's a card i love uh tiny bones is a card everybody loves stuff like uh necrogen miss and bottomless pit are very formidable um black strategy commander cards reassembling skeleton is even fine um and the art is really cool this style is really awesome so if you want to buy secret layers please go ahead there's some neat stuff if you're a fan of the mountain goats the band um they've got a cool little mountain land set inspired by and curated by the mountain goats band um just don't buy the lord of the rings one <laughs> it's a, a complete waste of money and I think the more we all kind of pitch in to communicate with our dollars to Wizards of the Coast that, you know, they need to make better choices than this. It's, um, that's important. So if, even if you want to buy it, buy it, sure. It's, it's your prerogative. I think that, um, the more adventures in Middle Earth is a complete and utter sham it's a spit in the face of people who want to celebrate the lord of the rings crossover with magic the gathering um i think internally they need to uh fix some stuff and maybe have a better grasp on what cards they're putting into these secret layer drops there's been a few baffling ones in the last few sets too it's like cards that are popular in theory they're cards that people remember cards that have names that people recognize but aren't played ever and it's like nobody wants to buy cards that aren't played unless it's like a pet card or their collector um and i think that more time and effort needs to be shifted into treating the players like they matter versus the collectors or any of that stuff. Um, that's my quick hot take on the new summer secret layers. If you, again, if you want to buy them, please do. Um, I highly recommend not buying the Lord of the Rings ones because again, I went to my store. Usually Canadian cards are way overpriced. I went to my store and it's a dollar thirty-eight to buy these four cards. None of these cards are worth more than fifty cents. And they're gonna charge you thirty dollars US. Thirty dollars US. Um for just the non-foil version. The foil version is forty dollars US, so be kind to your wallet be smart with your financial choices um unless you're in dire need to collect the lord of the rings saturday morning cartoon cards i would avoid it to kind of collectively send wizards